Hey there everybody, this is a bit of a weird um, recording I'm doing right now. Um, essentially, I just wanted to kind of do a bit of an update on um, the YouTube channel, the Twitch channel, and where things are going at the moment. Um, things are taking a bit of a change. Um, essentially, pretty much every video I've been uploading on YouTube lately, apart from my Dungeons and Dragons series, have been being hit with copyright strikes, which is fair. When we do um, song requests, obviously I let you wonderful viewers at home choose songs, and that's great. I think it's one of the best parts of you know, my channel, getting to be interactive and stuff. I love that kind of thing, and I'm always looking for new and interesting ways to make the channel interactive. Um, which is lovely, and that's going to continue. I'm not stopping that. I think it's one of my favourite things. People trolling me with music, as well as people just showing me that they've got really awesome music tastes, and I get to learn a bunch of new different types of music. I've had so many songs requested by people that I then turned around and added to playlists and stuff because I'd, like, never heard of them. Also, I've had new uh, genres exposed to me. Wasn't really much of a fan of dubstep and things like that before, and pretty much wrote them off, apart from some dubstep classical music, which I think is always a really cool thing. But... Yeah, things like that. I've been exposed to lots of cool, uh, lots of cool music, and I really like that. So that's not stopping. The problem with it is, is that the more I get hit with, the more likely it is my YouTube channel just disappears. Um, so primarily, I've went back and I had a real think about it, and do I need a YouTube channel? Mostly, I thought no, I don't. Um, my main thing is Twitch and streaming. Um. But there are some people that will inevitably miss streams and be really sad about it. I've had a few people recently who have missed Dungeons and Dragons streams and that's a good, you know, two or three hours of storyline completely gone for them. And they've wanted to catch up, which is understandable. If they manage to get in within a few days, they can get onto Twitch and click on the video section and that's not a problem at all. They can straight away then dive back into the story and continue on with what they were doing. If, however, it's been more than a few days, the video disappears off of Twitch. And that's a problem. I've had people that have come in brand new to the channel have watched the Dungeons & Dragons stream and gone, oh, this is really good, I'm really enjoying this. I'm liking the players and I really like the storyline. But I've missed, like, you know, 30 hours of video, of footage here, and you clearly don't have all of those videos still. And I say, well, I do. They're on my YouTube channel. And, you know, it's a lot of footage to go back through, but if you're willing, it's there. People have been relatively good about that. If they want to, they go and read through it. And I've been impressed by how many people just have. So I don't want to take that away, you know? I don't want to drop that. and I definitely don't want to get rid of it. Um, so I thought, right, brilliant. YouTube can mostly be an archive for Dungeons & Dragons. And then people have been like, well, but what about the horror games you play? You don't play music on those. And, you know, if we miss one or two episodes, we could come back and look. And Okay, fair enough. I can include those. The main problem comes from uh, my Thursday and Fridays videos. on Well, streams on Twitch. Um, on Thursday, I tend to do a throwback Thursday. And I play retro games and we do retro music. <laughs> retro music. <laughs> um, so, yeah... It's a bit more difficult with that one <clears throat> because of the copyright strikes. So I'm not going to be recording those. Um, but, and that's the same on Friday. Or if, um, Friday is going to be Final Fantasy Fridays and we do instrumentals on Fridays. Um, sometimes, sometimes we just do open music. Again, same kind of problem. Um, however, Thursday and Friday tend to be old games. Thursday at the moment is Chrono Trigger and we'll be moving on to other retro games when I finish that. And... Friday is currently Final Fantasy 7, but I want to do 7, 8, 9, and 10, so they're all quite old games too. Going and finding, you know, quick things to walk through, to read through the storylines of those games to catch you up is pretty easy. Um, and you don't really need, you know, backstory on this. Whereas Dungeons and Dragons, you don't have that opportunity. Even if you were to, abs to go and, you know, get a copy of the Curse of Strahd book, you have no idea how the parties interacted with things. You have no idea what kind of rules and 
new storylines I've added in and people were asking a lot the other day about um, a banshee showed up during a werewolf fight and they're like where the hell did that come from that was so out of the blue and I could tell you straight away that came from Theron's backstory and um, it meant a lot to Theron's player Ku that that showed up and it shows up a few times and it has bothered him a lot and that kind of stuff isn't going to be in the rule book, you know? It's not going to be in the adventure path. So it is one of those things you need to kind of watch to understand. So basically what I guess I'm saying is YouTube is now going to be for three different kinds of video, basically. There's going to be the Curse of Strahd D&D videos and other D&D videos because I'm doing my beginner sessions. Those are going to be going up live on there too. Um, and when I start my new campaign, those videos will go up there as well. It's going to also be for my horror videos, because people seem to like watching me be scared. <laughs> but also, they are quite interested in the new horror games that I'm playing, and that's fine. That's great. So those two videos are going to go up there um, weekly, and the D&D beginner sessions will go up as and when they happen. And when I start a second D&D campaign, those will be going up also. So essentially what I'm saying is, if you want to stick around and catch up with those things, it'll be on YouTube. Okay? Um, if they have disappeared off of Twitch, you can always catch it up on your on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna. This video is gonna go up pretty much anywhere I can put it, <laughs> including YouTube. But if you're not on my YouTube, I will put a link to that in the comments or description of this video. Um, so yeah, drop me a subscribe, maybe it'll be useful. Um, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, I'd really appreciate it. Um, mainly, the, you know, the more follows you've got I've got on my thing the more encouraged I feel to keep going but also it kind of shows Twitch that people are interested and they're following because I'd like to eventually get to partnered status even if that may never happen I'd love to I enjoy Twitch a lot um, and becoming an affiliate has really helped the amount of people that have donated and you know cheered and given me bits and stuff which equates to you know helping me to keep running my computer and running the stream has been amazing I've been really grateful for that and that kind of goes into what else I'm talking about here, and that's the general aim for the future. Um, I'd like to think that I've learned a lot of skills since I started on Twitch. I had no idea what, it, you know, if you look around this video, I've got overlays and stuff, and thanks to uh, people like Chrono, I've got things over there, 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 like my lovely uh, pixel art and... I've learned a lot of things about like Photoshop and stuff to put together the artwork that goes on in these things and uh, video editing is new to me I didn't really do that before so I'm doing that um, and I'm starting to get encouraged to do more singing as well so that's gonna keep going as well so I'm gonna do a few more videos of that singing and LARP vlogs are gonna be happening I did one for Slayers right after a Slayers event where it was really emotional and stuff and it felt very cathartic both for me as a player and for my character which is a weird thing to say, but it really, it really did. And I want to do more of those. And I want to do things where, you know, I talk about how LARPs are going and I explain to new people about LARPs. Um, one of my friends, Mark, did a really, really good video on his... Uh, well, he's done two really good videos about LARP now on his channel, uh, Tabletop Weekly, which I'll happily link to. Um, and it's fun talking about these kind of things. I get passionate about them, and if I'm passionate, I get really excited and I start talking. And I think I'm... Uh, I, I'm one of those people, because I'm a teacher, I'm quite good at doing things like that. I'm quite good at doing D&D beginner sessions. I'm quite good at, um, you know, telling people what's good and bad about a LARP, and I'm very honest about stuff. I have no agendas. I don't run any of these LARPs, at least not until next year when my Supernatural LARP happens. Um, so I don't have any, any vested interest in them. So you know what, what you're getting from me is gonna be honesty. Same thing with, uh, you know, videos that I'm doing in character, there's no real rhyme or reason to them other than people that are in those lots will understand and hopefully enjoy them. So that's pretty much where the future is going to be. I'm going to keep going with my weekly schedule, um, which is D&D on Monday, horror games on Tuesday, retro games on Thursday, and Final Fantasy on Fridays. Um, I'm going to also be introducing more singing videos. Um, I'm going to introduce a few more LARP videos, um, and we'll see how things go. But I'm really enjoying it, and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And I have been talking for almost 10 minutes, so I'm going to pretty much shut up now. <laughs> um, please do feel free to you know, hit me up with messages, PM me, DM me, wherever you're seeing this video. I love having a conversation with people. 
it's what I do. It's what I enjoy doing is talking. So yeah, please do contact me. And I hope we can keep um, growing and progressing <laughs> together, mostly, because I my channel's nothing without you wonderful people. So thank you very much. Everything that's been getting down on me personally lately has been uplifted a lot by people helping me out and telling me what they like and don't like about the channel. Even the negative things helps me learn and grow, so thank you. And I very much look forward to talking to you again soon. So I guess, weirdly, when I'm not talking to people on video, on a, on a stream, this is a video, I guess I'm going to say this is uh, Clockwork SJ signing out. <laughs> Take care.